E.P. Alexander, the ordnance officer on General Longstreet's staff, wrote after the war that it, the end of the Confederacy was in sight. It was that desperate of a moment. General Longstreet has some of his staff officers dismount, fall in on an abandoned artillery piece, and start firing. He's holding their horses, giving directions. So you've got a senior general doing the job of an artillery sergeant, a bunch of majors doing the work of artillery privates. General Hill picks up a musket off the field, rallies 150 men and counterattacks. A division commander doing the job of a company commander. And the battle overall, the, the Union has about 300 cannon, the Confederacy about 250. The Union guns, not only are there more of them, they're also bigger, better, longer range, more accurate, more rifled pieces. But the Confederates make up for this by a better tactical organization and by more aggressive use of what they have available. As a historian, I've done hundreds and hundreds of tours at Antietam for over a 30-year period. And for years, I would tell people about the horrendous number of casualties and how horrific the battle was there and how intense the combat was. And I would even use the analogy to D-Day that there were four times more casualties at Sharpsburg in 12 hours of fighting than American forces suffered against the Germans when we hit the beaches in Normandy on June the 6th, 1944. But still, it just didn't have the impact. Even on me, I just couldn't comprehend 23,000 casualties. It was impossible for me to visualize. And then came the luminaries. And the first year they did the luminaries, and I wasn't there as a guest, I was just there as a tourist. About 11.30 that night, I drove through the battlefield with my lights dimmed and I saw candle after candle after candle, dozens of them, and then hundreds of them, and then thousands of them, and more thousands of them. And that night, I didn't sleep because for the first time in my career, I understood Antietam. Each candle represents a person. It's a father, a son, a brother, an uncle, a cousin, a nephew, they're people. Each one of those little lights is a heart flickering in the darkness. And Antietam snuffed the light of those people. <laughs>